top 10 to become Hockeyville 2011. The town is now in a two-way race with Conception Bay, Newfoundland, to become the Atlantic finalist. Kevin Harvey was in Antigonish today, where the people are in a voting frenzy. Antigonish has always been a hockey town, and people are proud to wear a bulldog sweater. When you're in Antigonish, you're always a bulldog, no matter what. Now the town, with a long and proud hockey history, wants to become Hockeyville 2011. We are Hockeyville. <laughs> just makes it more public to the world that Anna Ganesh loves hockey. Storefront window displays have been replaced by hockey jerseys, and the local credit union could be mistaken for a sports store. Everybody brought in all the stuff that you see is from the branch, and we had to decorate it the branch with, with probably within an hour. I just love it. I have a grandson, uh, uh, Braden, who plays hockey, and I don't miss morning practices. I don't miss any hockey games. In Antigonish, they don't mind airing their laundry in public, as long as it promotes Hockeyville. And I thought, huh, Antigonish could totally do that. We are so craft Hockeyvilles. The big incentive to win is a prize of $100,000 to go towards repairs to the town's aging arena. We're looking at spending probably a million and a half on it in the very near future. The winner also gets to host a preseason NHL game. So ever since Antigonish made the top ten earlier this week, People have been spending a lot of time on the phone or at a computer voting. I voted a lot. <laughs> yes, I did, and I will keep voting. Some places have been having voting parties. With five computers going and two phones last night, every night for two hours since it opened. Between five and seven votes per minute. So we think we had, well, over a thousand, hopefully. I think what I might do myself is stay up all night tonight and vote and vote and vote. The voting ends Sunday, with the results next Saturday. The people of Antigonish say they need help from other Nova Scotians to become Hockeyville. And they say the easiest way to do that is to vote early, and apparently, vote often. Kevin Harvey, CBC News, Antigonish. No voting irregularity there. We're voting early and voting We're often. Voting often like yeah. it. And if you're an Antigonish, you're a bulldog, apparently. Apparently for life. Good to know. Yeah. Amy Smith, your host for CBC News, Halifax at 5.30, and a busy night in Metro.